It's been a long time coming. Last time I worked with him, I was kind of an overweight cop, and he really didn't like me very much. And now it's his turn to be an overweight fighter, and we eventually get into shape, and it was perfect. It's it just, it, it, it just is le it's the longest shot you could ever imagine. What would have, who would have ever thought you see Rocky and Raging Bull together? But what really is great is Alan Arkin and, and Kevin Hart, who's amazing, and Kim. So you have a real story in there. It isn't just about the fight. I think it's probably been more boxing films, or maybe baseball and boxing. There's something incredibly dramatic. But see, it's here's where people make the mistake. It's a good boxing film is not about boxing. It's about the boxer, his family. It's a comedy, okay? But really, you know, it's like Pete was saying in the in the um, press conference the other day, there's only really nine minutes of boxing in this, and there's some wonderful sequences of that. But I think this movie really is about grudges and about resolving them, and it has a lot of heart, and coupled with the comedy, the comedic aspect of this, it just could not have been a better recipe. Many years prior to the razor relationship she had I think she really was truly in love and now she's a single mom and you know her husband passed away and she finds herself at a place where she needs to resolve some grudges that have been going on a very long time and I think in that respect Sally Rose is really the pivotal part of helping the, just the catalyst that makes everything get started to head toward resolve in the movie. So I'm in a very lucky position. I play Dante Slate Jr. I'm the reason why the fight happens. I'm the promoter. I'm the guy with the plan. Uh, I'm the guy who's uh, manipulative enough to go and get these guys to reconsider reliving their past. And not only do they want to do it, but they do it to the fullest. And it's just with a little push. So I'm the guy that gives them that push. I love Pete, you know, Pete's comedy background is amazing, uh, and this is my first time working with him, but it definitely won't be the last, you know, he knows what he's doing and he knows how to get the best out of his actors, and with me, he knows I come from a strong improv background, so he said, uh, Kev, I want to put you in a position to do you and bring what you can to the camera. Everybody in this movie was an icon. I mean, you got Robert De Niro, Sylvester Stallone, Alan Arkin, Kim Basinger. It was it was huge. You know, you're dealing with Oscar Award winners all around. I was a guy with nothing. Uh, but really getting a chance to sit next to Sly and Bobby and saying it in my young career, I got to work with those guys. It, uh, it was one of the biggest moments of my career thus far. And that definitely won't be forgotten. I play uh, uh, Stallone's trainer. It was a terrific script. I mean, I got to work with Stallone and De Niro. I got to work with Pete again for the second time I've worked with Pete, uh, Pete Siegel. Uh, how can you say no? I uh, play myself in the film. <laughs> Real hard. It took me 31 years to learn how to say, let's get ready to, well, I'll save that for the movie. A great director. I mean, Peter has done uh, 50 First Dates, a Tommy Boy, which I've watched 20 times myself, and I, he really knows how to handle comedy, he knows how to handle stars, and uh, I, I think the audience is going to like it. It's got romance, it's got action, and it's got two legendary stars in it, and Alan Arkin and Kim Basinger, both Academy Award winners. It, it's a tough movie to pass up. I grew up in uh, the golden age of heavyweights, you know, Ali, Foreman, Frazier, uh, and, and Holmes, Larry Holmes, right there. 
And, and so I, I couldn't be more of a kid in a candy shop doing this movie. These are two such great actors, both Oscar winners for Best Picture, Best Actor, and, and I just wanted to show my love and affection for not just the sport, but the film genre too. Boxing films are kind of a metaphor for life, you know, we all kind of get knocked down and the story is can we pick ourselves up and get back going again and, and I think that's what boxing represents, it's, it's us in real life.